The story of 19-year-old Elizabeth is not an unusual one in Zambia. Born with HIV, she experienced the trauma of losing her parents at an early age. I, I lost my parents when I was seven years. Yes, my both parents. Then our first born is negative. Then the second, we are the three of us in our family. The second born is also negative, but uh, I am positive. And I was one time, uh, I tried to commit suicide. After the suicide attempt, Elizabeth's grandmother sought professional help and was referred to SHARPS. SHARPS stands for Serenity Harm Reduction Program Zambia, and it was here where therapists such as Margaret Kasoma took care of her. For her to feel afraid or frightened about what happened is quite normal. Another person would feel the same way. Uh, but with time, all that will come to an end. She learned that it's, it's, she, it's within her powers to change the way she thinks about the situation. The method applied at Sharps is called Trauma-Focused Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or TFCBT. The therapist's first step, accompanied by relaxation exercises, is making the patients recognize fully the trauma they have suffered. They help the clients realize that what they experienced is traumatic and not their fault. A log known as a trauma narrative keeps track of patients' progress. Negative and unhelpful thoughts will be identified and transformed by use of various techniques, such as logical questioning or role play. The treatment is for, you know, to help clients experience that pain once and for all, and it will go. So by the time you've finished, you find that the client is feeling better, and they're no longer affected by what what, you know, what happened. Sharps was established to address the psychological distress and other consequences of alcohol and drug abuse, as Philip Chimponda, executive director of Sharps, explains. The vision of um, Sharps is to provide mental health services, um, which include, of course, alcohol and drug as just one component but also other services that arise consequent to harmful use of alcohol. Dealing with the consequences, however, is not enough. That is why Sharps also engages in prevention. During courses such as this one at a school in one of Lusaka's compounds, Kina Lunda informs the pupils about the dangers of alcohol and substance abuse. When you look at the situation today in Zambia, a lot of youths, they are engaged in two substances. And most of the times, you find that whatever celebration they have, it's combined with the use of alcohol. And we have discovered that in the number of schools where children go, once they begin using uh, alcohol and other drugs, they stop their education. 18 and above is because they believe you have got the information. And you can make a decision whether to drink, whether not to drink. Are we together? Not under 18, that's what they mean. We are looking at what are the problems that people actually suffer as a result of uh, the lifestyle that people live. So we are addressing this specific uh, problem that other organizations in Zambia have not ventured into. Sharps also takes care of the many street kids in Lusaka and offers them help in a variety of ways. Here at one of its partner organizations, Fountain of Hope. There was a time that uh, the number of children increased on the street. So the government had nothing to do about those kids. What they wanted was to use force. But we approached the government and we told them, if you're going to use force, they are going to retaliate. So the best that we can, you can do, engage us so that we can remove them from the street. TFCBT not only aims at overcoming trauma, but it is also successful at showing the kids who have suffered new perspectives for their lives. This treatment has been very helpful to quite a number of children. 
and all of them, because of TFC beating, they were ab able to, you know, refrain and uh, change their mind. And they started, you know, relating with their families better. And even their teachers uh, were phoning us to say these children have changed. TFCBT originated in the U.S. Sharps has successfully adopted it to the Zambian context, as Stephanie Skavinsky van Wyck of Johns Hopkins University, who is based in Lusaka, explains. You know, a lot of people do what we call psychosocial counseling or counseling in general, but we don't know whether or not these things are effective. And what Sharps is doing is both in their kind of alcohol treatments and in their um, the, the TFCBT and other counseling techniques, they're really looking for what's evidence-based. We want to become a center of excellence for mental health, which means we are discussing with the means of community development, mother and child health, so that at least they can now integrate TFCBT into the mainstream of the government system. So we are trying to focus on scaling up the training. The work Sharps does is also recognized by experts of the World Health Organization, such as Mark van Omeren. Large numbers of children all over the world uh, experience abuse. Sharps is unique in that it is the one organization in Africa that has taken evidence-based techniques known to be working in the West and then retesting them in the local African context. Elizabeth has learned to cope with her trauma and to look forward in her life. Together with kids from her compound, she is performing a theater play called Revolution, which she wrote herself, and she has plans for the future. She wants to become an actress or a journalist. No!